Okay, so one of the most common questions asked is, why should I buy an EMTB? I think, I've, especially recently, I've started to think more like, you know, some days really suit a cross country bike. Some days are more fun on your hardtail. Some days are most fun on your enduro bike. And some days are more fun on an EMTB. But each day lends itself to a different thing. I would come back to that though and say, all those things you mentioned, hardtail, enduro, all those trails are better on an e-bike because I ride mine everywhere. I don't ride anything else really. I mean, you know, even if I'm going to the jump trails, I'll take the e-bike because it saves me pushing back up to the top. I just ride up and, you know, if you're out riding, riding, mountain biking, for me, the fact that, you know, I used to pick routes that would perhaps miss hills and oh, I can't bother to go up that one and put this loop on. Now I go literally wherever I want. I charge up the hills, Aim for no this. problem. I get another downhill on the backside of it. For me, I think mountain biking has a lot to do with exploring and being in the nature and, and now I can do that for longer and go further. So to me, there's absolutely no disadvantage to an e-bike. And I think you're making a really good point. Like it's a bike, it's still a bike. You're still pedaling it. It's still under your own power, but it's just giving you that extra bit, but you can choose how much it is giving you. That's right, so that's right. So fun, longer days, like you say, like you, it gets you out there. It's a perfect tool for adventure. Yeah. But also it's, I think it makes you look and search out more. Even myself and other people that I speak to say that, you know, they actually prefer them on the downhills as well, because they're so heavy and the bottom bracket's nice and low that they're grounded. You know, they don't jump about. They feel a lot more stable. They feel a lot more predictable, which is an absolute fact. One of the other big things, one of the massive advantages for me as well is if I go training on a normal bike, then, you know, I'll probably be too tired written off to go for another couple of days. Mm -hmm. Whereas with an e-bike, it, it, you know, it, I'll ride it perhaps mostly in trail mode, so I'm still getting an aerobic workout. But like the next day, I feel good. I've not labored myself to the point of exhaustion and I literally will go again and I will enjoy it again. Whereas, you know, if it was a normal bike, it'd be, I wouldn't be able to go the next day actually, not, in, not enjoy it. But right, you're always gonna wanna have 10 trails rather than five if you can. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that opens that door. Something else that I like about the e-bikes as well is I can ride with, you know, a lot of my mates that, and I'm not saying I'm yeah. fit, but a lot of my mates are less fit than me, but it levels everyone up. So you can go on a big group ride, you can get all your mates together. Yeah. You know, the other day I went out with eight other riders, all different shapes, sizes and abilities, and we did, you know, the wickedest 30 miles loop I've ever done. It was an absolute laugh, you know, yeah. and that, that wouldn't have been an option if we'd been on, on non-powered bikes. And I think going further than that as well, a good rider is still a really good rider on an e-bike. So again, they can still push themselves, they can still find ways to really kind of get out of their own comfort zone or work physically hard, yeah. but they're just working that bit harder. But like you say, in a group ride, it's just a great laugh, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's coming up the hills, chatting away. Yeah, together, exactly. Laughing, laughing. And, and getting your exercise. And that's what bike's about. Yeah. And, and why wouldn't you, if you've got that in front of you, why wouldn't you use that to get out into places, to explore new spots, be it coming into towns that you've not been in like yeah, this, or, yeah, or right. getting out to trails that you've never ventured to. And I guess, like we were saying before, you know, e-biking lets you exploit these different ways of riding instead of being, okay, I must do this loop today, or I must do this, or having a set agenda. That trail was mint. Let's just go do it three, four times. Why That's not? Right. Yeah, exactly. If you find a good one, no need to move on. Ride back to the top effortlessly. <laughs> Off you go again. Well, a lot of information there. As you know, I am sold on e-bikes, but uh, I think we, before we go riding, we need a coffee, don't we? We're in the land of cappuccino. Let's go.